How have you been the past week? It's just been okay, but it's still painful getting up and down. We're visiting a patient of mine who has advanced prostate cancer. Recently has gotten too weak to get out of his house, so we're seeing him at home. How are you doing with having folks around the house um, to get you um, to the bathroom? I had the nurse coming by and so forth. And we got to sort of refuse help. I, I thought I did need this, I did need that. I know that I need help now. And even getting up going to the bathroom is sometimes a little painful. I had the radical prostatectomy, I had the radiation. I guess it's the bone cancer now that caused most of the problem now. I think sometimes laying in the bed all day is usually I've never been that type of person. Probably about a year ago, I was out running three miles a day and I'm in the bed probably 10 hours a day. Some people have been encouraged me to get up and get a tiny bit of exercise. And how much of that have you been able to do? Not too much, but uh, I, I think I've tried more recently too. The first time I go out with students, I encourage them to use open-ended questions. You're asking somebody to tell you a little story about an issue, and that gives them a chance to talk. They feel like they've been listened to. How you're doing spiritually and emotionally? It's not too nice to be, to be in bed all day long. Mm -hmm. I was going to church on a regular basis mm -hmm. also. I definitely can't go now. One of the major focuses is learning about palliative care, which is the process of choosing which elements of medical care are appropriate for a person's comfort with a disease that may be terminal but is appropriate to that person's specific needs. Virtually all of these patients have issues around end of life, death and dying, and frequently they haven't come across people who are comfortable talking about it. So given a chance to talk about this kind of stuff, a lot of people will surprise you with the level of detail that's in their mind. I've talked to you over the years about, you know, what if something unexpected should happen? How do you want things to be handled? I think I have a will and all that's in place. For example, your heart were to, to stop beating. Um, some patients would prefer to have CPR and um, electrical shocks given, and others sometimes choose to not have that. The time has come, so mm -hmm. just accept it. I think you're right. That's not something maybe would help you to go through. Been seeing Dr. Hart now for some time, and I think it gives me a little strength to keep moving along. I'm going to meet with the hospice team tomorrow, okay. and I'm going to tell her to get some of this long-acting pain medicine out to you so you can try it. Okay. So that should be coming out another day or two. Not everybody's going to go into internal medicine and geriatrics, but hopefully the students will pick up on these ideas of sort of listening to the patient and thinking about context, and that will pervade it what they choose to do in medicine.